Hello everyone. My name is Li Yingting. My tutors are Professor Chen Bo and Professor Zhao Shui. We come from Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications. I'm glad to share my our work. The topic I will share today is counterfactual augmented data for Mount Hope knowledge base question answering. Knowledge-based question answering aims at answering factual questions from a knowledge base. Early work on KPQA focused on simple questions containing a single relation, which has been well resolved. However, real questions are often more complex. There are two different types of complexity have been studied. One is single relation questions with constraints. For example, in the question, who was the first president of the US? There is a single relation president of between the answer entity and the entity in US. But we also have the constraint first that needs to be satisfied. The second one is the questions with much hopes of relations. For example, for the question, who is the wife of the founder of Facebook? The answer is related to Facebook through two hopes of relations, namely wife of and founder of. The picture is a knowledge-based fragment. The nodes are entities and the A's are relations labeled with their types. The graph convolution network was proposed by Kip to implement machine learning on structured, structured data and evolved into two different types, spatial and spectral. The main difference between the two approaches is for spatial, we are directly multiplying the agency metric with the signal where for the spectral version, we are using the Laplace matrix. Here are two classical graph convolution. The first is the spectral graph convolution published by Kip at the ICLR conference in 2017. Symmetric deception of multi-layer multi graph convolution network for seeing supervised learning with C input channel and F feature maps in shared overlays. The graph structure is shared overlays. Labels are donated by VI. The second is the graph convolution proposed by Skircrow. This picture is a diagram for computing the update of a single graph node. Its color is red. In the RGCN model, it updates the node's re representation by integrating the information of neighbor nodes, including input edges, output edges, and self-loop edges. Counterfactual Inference is a logic to answer retrospective questions. What if, for instance, counterfactual inference can answer the question, what would the prediction be if a cause had not happened? For example, removing the feature in question or subgraph and access the canal effect through the change of the outcome. For example, in the real world, our question is what will it be if machine hears Q and extracts T based on Q? And in counterfactual world, our question is what would it be if machine hears Q but extracts T when it had not heard the Q? So we propose the model agnostic counterfactual simple synthesizing. It has two manifestations. The first is to synthesize counterfactual data based on question sentence. We call it QCSS 
for a given question q we use mass integer linking output as the topic entity of the sentence the counterfactual question q minus is to replace all the topic entity in q with the special symbol word mask and then the other is the triples related to questions Relate, uh, question sentence extracted from the knowledge base just same as GraphNet and SG Reader. We call it TCSS. We select the top key entities with highest scores as the critical entity set and replacing them with entity mask. The DAE algorithm will be discussed in detail on the next page. As can be seen from uh, algorithm 1, synthesizing counterfactual samples requires three main steps. The first step is training KPQA model with the original sample. The second step is synthesizing a counterfactual sample by QCSS or TCSS. The third step is training KPQA model with the counterfactual sample. In order to assign gross truth answers to those counterfactual KPQA APS during the training process, we designed a dynamic answer allocation machinism. Select the N entity with the highest prob probability and uh, sub subtract them from the original answer distribution as the answer to the counterfactual example. We evaluate the proposed CSS for KPQA mainly on the web question SP, which is a widely used data set. We compare with the latest two state of the art model, GraphNet and SGReader. Since the larger, larger knowledge base still lacks integrity, GraphNet and SGReader integrate the knowledge base with external document knowledge such as uh, um, Wikipedia to generate answers together. The picture is a real example from web question SP. To answer the question, who did Camp Newton sign with, we need to find evidence from the Keep KB subgraph and the extracted documents. Here the answer cannot be directly found in the KB, but in the knowledge pro provided by the KB. Namely, Cam Newton is a foot football player. In case he signed with the team he plays for. This knowledge can be essential for recognizing the re relevant text text pieces. We follow the exper uh, experimental setting of GraphNet, that is, the KB triples are downsampled to varying degrees including 10%, 30%, 50%, and 100% of the original ditch. We use accuracy as an evolution indicator, which rep represents the accuracy of top uh, top predicted answer from the model. Through experiments, we found that both QCSS and TCSS have improved the original performance to a certain extent. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please contact us while the above emails.